friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another video in the UGC NET Paper 1 series. I am running this UGC NET Paper 1 series for all the NET aspirants who are wondering what to study in UGC NET Paper 1, who are very disturbed reading so many guidebooks and still not able to reach a particular rank. So in this particular video series, I am going to discuss each unit of Paper 1 in detail. Along with that, I am going to give you all kinds of possible questions which are asked from each of these units. I am also going to cover the subtopics of each of these units which are mentioned in the updated UGC NET syllabus. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I think you should better do that so that you are updated whenever I post another video on this channel. So without any further delay, let's jump right into the topic and see what we covered in the last video. In the last video, I covered three subtopics of Unit 1 Teaching Aptitude. The first one being concept of teaching. The second one was objectives of teaching and the third one was levels of teaching. In this video, I'm going to start with the fourth subtopic mentioned in the UGC NET updated syllabus, which is characteristics of teaching. Now, what do you mean by characteristics? Characteristics basically means nature. So, teaching ka nature kya hai? Koi bhi tarah ki agar teaching hoti hai, to kis tarah se teaching ki jati hai ya kaun se basic cheeze hai jo har kind of teaching mein visible hoti hai. So, the first important characteristics of teaching is teaching is an art. So, teaching is an art. This is the first characteristic feature. How teaching is an art? Teaching is an art because her teacher ko apni creativity use karke padhana hota hai. It's a very creative process. If you look at my videos, I have a very different way of teaching. If you go to some other teacher, you might find he's teaching the same concept in a different way. So we all are teaching, but we are teaching in different methods. That is how teaching becomes an art. Because all, all the teachers who are teaching you, they are using their own creativity to make the learning as interesting as they can. Teaching is of course a science. Teaching is a scientific process. Why? Because it is a systematic process involving logical steps. So if you have ever heard, uh, I would like to know a teacher who first takes the examination and then teaches you the topic. That doesn't happen, right? A teacher is going to first deliver and then ask you questions based on that. So you see, there's a systematic process that every teacher follows, irrespective of the creativity they are using. That is the reason why teaching is a systematic scientific process, yet it is an art. The third important characteristics of teaching is that teaching is a continuous process. Teaching doesn't stop. Just like learning is a lifelong process, similarly teaching is also a continuous process. As Robert Lee says, education of a man will only end when he dies. So man will not stop learning. He keeps on learning new things through his experiences, through reading books. Similarly, teaching is also a process which continues forever. The next important subtopic that I'm going to discuss is learner's characteristic. Now it is very important for a teacher to know the characteristics of the learners of the students present in the classroom because it is only by knowing them the teacher would be able to adjust his teaching methodology accordingly. So there are four major type of characteristics. If you group them uh, in different groups then four major groups would be visible to you. The first is personal characteristics. So it totally depends upon the age and gender. So a student uh, who is 10 years of age and a student who is 25 years of age, the way the teacher is going to teach them would be entirely different. Similarly, gender. There are uh, theories which say that women are very good at dealing with emotions, at learning languages, whereas men are better at dealing with mathematical and logical problems. So the methodology employed by the teacher to deal with these two genders would be entirely different. The second important learner characteristic is his academic background, so his prior knowledge. If I am teaching literature to students who have not uh, ever, like have never touched any play of Shakespeare, I have to deal with them in a different way. And if I am dealing with students who are doing PhD on Shakespeare, I have to deal with them in a different way. So prior knowledge, academic background matters a lot. The third important learner characteristic is what we generally 
call as the group structure. So if a teacher is teaching 10,000 people in one class, he has to employ a totally different methodology. And if a student is taking one-on-one -on -one classes, the method would be different. So the group structure matters a lot. Social structure matters a lot. And finally, we go to the fourth learner's characteristic, which is cognitive. Now, what do you mean by cognitive? Cognitive basically means things which deal with the mental makeup or with the brain. So, attention span, memory retention, intellectual capacities, all of these things must be uh, looked at before you start teaching somebody. If you're teaching toddlers, people who are like uh, very disciplinarian, they might find it very hard to deal with toddlers because their attention span is change hota hai. Do minute wo padhenge and then they have to roam around in the classroom. If you're dealing with 45 years old people, then in that case, their attention span is pretty uh, good. 40 to 50 minutes, they can concentrate. So you have to develop your lessons accordingly. So make sure you understand learners' characteristics so that it becomes easier for you to deal with UGC net questions which arrive from this particular topic. We move to the next important subtopic, listed in UGC net syllabus that is teachers characteristics now this particular uh, topic talks about what are the characteristics of a good teacher so you might be wondering that okay it's very simple the teacher should know uh, enough about his own subject that he's going to teach no guys that's not it so it's not just the education of the teacher his prior knowledge his command over the subject that matters but if you want to become a good teacher you must have the important skill set now i might know how to teach but if i'm not good at communication i'm not good at managing my classroom i'm not good at leadership qualities will i ever be a successful and a good teacher no i won't be because along with education what matters is your skills and not to forget the personality of the teacher a teacher should have a positive attitude and should have good sense of humor if the teacher wants to touch the hearts of millions of students so make sure you understand what are the characteristics of good teacher now in this particular video i've discussed three major components learners characteristics teachers characteristics and the characteristics of teaching all these three subtopics are really simple and they're common sense based we all know that but you must go through any guidebook and just read these characteristics so that if you have certain preconceived notions you remove them and you update yourself there was a very interesting question that was asked in recent ugc net exam which asked us to choose what a teacher should do if few students in the class are mischievous and are trying to disturb the class so there were few options like the teacher should scold them should take them to the principal should uh, suspend them and one of the option was teacher should help them introspect and change their behavior that was the correct option a good teacher would always help the student to introspect and correct their own behavior rather than being an authoritative figure and telling them this is your punishment so make sure you look at teaching aptitude from that lens you know what are the characteristics of a good teacher what are the characteristics of learner and accordingly solve the questions we are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture where i'm going to talk about some amazing theories that are related to teaching aptitude and that have been asked in that exam in past two years uh, constantly so make sure you don't miss out on that video if you're looking for previous year papers on UGC net paper one make sure you hit my website arpatakarva.com because I've published all the important previous year papers on the website along with the answers and you can also get free guidance for paper one if you contact on the number displayed above so with that note I take your leave don't forget to subscribe to my social media platforms especially Instagram and Facebook so that you get recent UGC net updates right on your phone. So I take your leave. We'll meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.